With the rumored announcement of the NVIDIA RTX 2080 coming this Monday, August 20th, from Cologne, Germany at Gamescom, you can expect the rumors and leaks to start coming in hot and heavy concerning the new touring-based gaming cards from NVIDIA, and today is no different as we have some more pictures of the PCB for the RTX 2080 as well as some add-in board cards which actually reveal a 2080 Ti which makes it appear that they'll be coming a lot sooner than what we would have expected to see compared with previous generations from NVIDIA. But first, today's video is brought to you by Zero and Nine.com, where you could save money on PC games for all of your favorite platforms like Steam, Origin, Uplay, and more, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro or Microsoft Office Pro 2016. And if you use the code JOKERW at checkout, you can save 22% off your copy of Windows, which would bring the price down to $12.47, or you could use the code JOKER-S at checkout where you can save 10% on the entire website for anything you pick up over there. Please check out the link down in the description below. But let's start off first with the PCB. If you remembered a couple weeks ago, I actually did an analysis of a leaked PCB image, which is pretty much identical to this, although we get to see some more stuff added onto the board, is that was pretty much just a bare PCB. It didn't have the GPU die on it. It didn't even have the rear IO or the memory modules installed on it. Pretty much nothing was on there whatsoever. And now we've got a little bit more information that kind of confirms some of the things we went over in that PCB analysis. So we're over on videocards.com. They are the sources for all of these leaks that just hit today. So here's an image of the front of the PCB. We could see first for our first time the die for TU-104, which looks to be like it'd be an absolute monster. That is a huge die for 12 nanometer. Like this thing is probably going to be an absolute beast. Confirming also, as far as the video memory is concerned, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. And we can also see the VRMs over here, which confirms what I had hypothesized back in that video. Rather than seeing a 10-phase VRM for the GPU, we were actually going to see an 8 plus 2 with the 8-phase VRM for the GPU itself. And then the other two are going to be for the memory. And we could also see the rear I.O. there kind of in place and remember there was kind of some information it might be uh, might have a USB type C connector which could possibly be used for virtual link so I think that is going to be a reality and we've also got NV link up here at the top because it looks like Nvidia is doing away with the SLI fingers like we've seen in previous generations. Another thing we can learn here is that this is probably a Founders Edition card and it also is very likely a blower style card so we can tell that because of, look at all this copper in here. This is basically the NVIDIA Vapor Chamber, which has a lot more hardware on it than some of the previous gens. So yeah, the Vapor Chamber on here might have gotten a decent little bit of an upgrade, but it does look like NVIDIA will be using a blower style card, which could end up still being two fans like we had talked about recently, but they are definitely going to be a blower style configuration for this particular card. And we can see the model number as well on that GPU die for tu 104. So this is the RTX 2080 we are looking at here. Now for the next leak, we have some of the add-in board cards from MSI as well as Palette, and we'll probably see some more coming here in the near future. But we'll start off with the RTX Duke. As you can see right here, we have the, G the RT... Or sorry, I gotta get used to not saying GTX. The RTX 2080 and also the RTX 2080 Ti. And the main difference denoted on the packaging, at least that we can see for right now, is that the 2080 is going to be 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, and the 2080 Ti will be 11 gigabytes of GDDR6. So this now has me wondering a couple of things. First, is the Ti just going to be a memory upgrade, or are there actually going to be more CUDA cores? And also, is the Ti, or should I say the 2080, is the 2080 going to be kind of cut down a bit because the 2080 Ti is going to be coming so soon? And maybe the 2080 Ti is really going to be like what should have been the 2080. Maybe they're segmenting it that way. Um, yeah, we'll probably just have to wait and see because usually the Ti cards are just a very slightly cut down version of the Titan. But the new rumored Titan is expected to be $3,000 just like Titan V. So I'm not sure if we're going to get just a marginally cut down version of that for the 2080 Ti. We're really just going to have to wait and see. But these definitely do look to be legit as the... Previous generation of Duke cards don't look exactly like this. They are pretty close, but there are a couple of key differences. First off, you can if you look at the stickers here on the 2080, you can see they're kind of black and gray. Whereas on this, it's on the 2080 or the 1080 Ti, they had white stickers and they also had these 
carbon fiber little cutouts here at the bottom and at the top, whereas on the new one, they don't have that at the bottom. It looks like it's just like a plastic part of the shroud going all the way across. It is kind of similar, but it's not exactly the same. So it does look like it's a new product. It doesn't look like someone just took the old box and put, you know, RTX on there instead of GTX. The box is a fair bit different. I mean, I think we can all agree, like, look at that. It's very different compared to the box that we have here that's just a plain flat black. We also have another MSI card on here, the RTX Trio. Once again, we get to see the 2080 Ti denoted here, 11 gigabytes of GDDR6. And it looks like we got um, some RGB lighting on there because, of course, we do. It's 2018. You can't have a graphics card without RGB. How else is it going to stay cool? Come on. You all know this by now. Um, coming down more, we can see that it's got a nice backplate on there. We can see NVLink on there once again, and it looks like we have two 8-pin power connectors on this card. So definitely going to be a fair bit power hungry. And the last one is from Palette. We can see a couple of their cards, the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. It's subjective, but I think these cards are really ugly. So uh, those, are, those would have to be on, on a good offer if I wanted to consider getting those, like a significantly amount, significantly cheaper in the other cards. Palette might make some great cards, but man, those coolers are not that attractive, especially that 2080 Ti one. Like, what the hell is that? Uh, and then lastly, if you're asking yourself when you could pre-order, if there's been a leak from Nordic Hardware, hardware that says you'll be able to start pre-ordering the 2080 as soon as the announcement is over, come on Monday. So that is very, if you're wanting to get a 2080, no doubt day one, you want to have your finger on the buy button. It's going to be Monday. You're going to want to sit on that NVIDIA website and keep pressing F5 for those 2080 pre-orders. And hopefully you can get yourself one. I am, you know, I've got my fingers crossed and I'm hoping, uh, praying to the old gods and the new that I will get a RTX 2080 sample from NVIDIA. Hopefully, like I said, fingers crossed. I've kind of been, I, I can't say anything. Maybe. I don't know yet. But I'll let you know as soon as I can. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Links to all the sources are going to be down in the description below. I'm going to be driving up to New Hampshire for the next week, so content might be a little bit slow, but I'm definitely going to try to stay on top of the new announcements and everything like that. And I also might be doing a live stream of the Gamescom announcement on Monday when NVIDIA is announcing the 2080 very likely. So expect me to be live streaming that from the cabin up in New Hampshire. And if you want to see some vlogs from up there as well, let me know. Maybe I'll do like a cabin tour. Maybe some of the places that we go and visit while we're up there can do some kind of vlogs and stuff like that. And if there's any pressing news stories, I will have my camera gear and laptop with me so I can edit videos on the go if I need to. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on everything. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys at some point in the near future for a video. I can't say it's tomorrow because I'm going to be traveling tomorrow, but I'll see you guys at some point again in the future. Tara. Bye-bye.